Now let's have a look at this large uh, ultrasonic cleaner. This is a Pila Tools ultrasonic cleaner 17L. I think it's a 17 liters uh, volume inside it. And this one has a uh, tap here that can tap out the water. The front label here doesn't look so good. Got some uh, bad stains here and this uh, button here is completely broken off like this. This is for heating, degas, soft, wonder what that does, and normal. I think this is how the transducer is actually vibrating. It's just like some intervals so you can get the gas out of uh, some tight spaces between uh, like uh, some gears and stuff. Because if you got the gas there you can't uh, actually knock out the dirt out of the small cracks. This maybe if it's a soft material in there. This is when you got like normal, like the transducer is uh, vibrating continuously. So heating, you can actually select the heat here. And this is the timer. And yes, the same problem as before. When you plug it in, it trips the breaker. So maybe some transistors are damaged in this one. Or maybe it's like the other one, a shorted wire. Yes, we lift the lid off. There's the side of it. And in here we got this uh, stainless steel basket. And here you can see the drain hole. This is quite a large tank. Here we got the three pin connector here, some on off switch and some uh, information about it. 400 watts, 40 kilohertz on the transducer. Now let's have a look at the bottom side. You can see some fan, which is quite dirty. That doesn't look good. We got something like, uh, I hope we don't got that snot everywhere in the electronics in here. Is that because the tube has been leaking? The drain tube, the drain tube is over here. Let's open it up and see how it looks inside. Now I flipped it upside down. Let's uh, remove the screws here. Now the screws are removed. Let's have a peek inside of it. Oh, you got six transducers there. So it's now going to see it a bit better. We got the six transducers and the heating pad here. We got two circuit boards on the top here, which are the drivers for these uh, transducers. And in here we got another circuit board for the controls. We got three circuit boards here, driving the transducers. Let's uh, measure the fuses on them. There's a fuse on the back here, that's okay. And this one... So yes, all the fuses are okay on those boards. And those are two amps, two amp fuses. The main fuse where this unit was connected is a 16 amp fuse. So I think if the, one of the boards were damaged, these fuses would have blown too. The fan goes across the mains as well as this uh, heating pad. And in this unit, all the wires are heat resistant. So this is a quite a good unit. The state of the fan is very bad. Look at that, the, the color is coming off. That's not what's supposed to happen. Maybe the fan is tripping the breaker. Why would this even happen? Let's have a closer look at the tube here. Yes, that's the drain tube here. And it looks like we've got some residue on it. So maybe it's actually leaking and it leaks straight on the fan. So it's got some snot here. Oh, that's not good. This thing is leaking. I need to seal this somehow. Maybe I need to put some uh, two component adhesive on this uh, tube here. On the bottom, and so it seals better. I need to find the adhesive that uh, is uh, vibration resistant. Yes, now I've cleaned it, I need to find some uh, adhesive and uh, put it on here. And now I need to have a look at the fan and see what I can do about it. And just if you are curious, this is the control circuit board. So the transformer here, some relays, microcontroller. Now I have washed the fan and the paint just uh, fall off of that. So actually I've used pretty corrosive uh, detergent in this cleaner. As you can see how it looks like. 
and I removed this little uh, lock ring on the back here, so I can remove the actual uh, fan from it. It's the squirrel cage. Here's the coils. They don't look so bad. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Yes, let's plug in the fan. I have a light bulb in series with it because I'm a boring person. Here we go. Nothing happens. So maybe the fan just shorted out and actually opened the circuit. Let's make a full autopsy of it and see what the problem is. Let's remove the fan. Unscrew the screws. Let's see if you can see where it shorted out. It even looks worse in here. We need the more light here actually. You can see here how corrosive that detergent is. It's completely dissolved the paint. Well, the wires just come off. Let's cut that one. The actual coil looks quite good. How about this? It actually eats through the plastic, this uh, detergent. Let's hope that this fan was the problem. Yesterday I put some epoxy glue on the drain here, and now it's dry. So hopefully the detergent will not eat through that. It's a quite strong epoxy resin, it uh, can handle vibrations quite well. Hopefully it will last for a couple of years. Now I put a new fan here and this protection on top here. So if the drain begins to leak, it will leak on the top here and not into the fan and damage it. And hopefully it will just uh, avoid the circuit there, not shorting that out. But hopefully it will not get any leaks. I think that you actually can get this, I think you actually can get the same uh, ultrasonic cleaner in a more powerful version, which has a fourth board here. So I'm going to remove this board here. Let's have a close up on that one. And after that I will put it here, away from the drain tube, which comes uh, in here somewhere. So just in case it leaks, it will not get on the circuit board. Yes, here's one circuit board. So there's only two transistors, gate driver, we got a transformer and a inductor. So this one here should be the inductor. This is a transformer. So I'm rectifying diode here. The transducer is connected uh, to those two. So that one goes to the inductor here and the other one goes down here, maybe for the transistors. Goes to some capacitors here. It should be a Royer oscillator. It would be nice to uh, reverse engineering on one of these circuit boards, but maybe not in this video here. So it's quite a neat little circuit. And yes, mains comes in here. We've got some uh, filtering, the rectifier. We've got no uh, smoothing capacitor. Goes uh, directly to the transistors. We still got the mains uh, ripple. That's why these uh, ultrasonic cleaners are so noisy. But maybe you can get the ultrasonic cleaners that have this uh, capacitor on the on the DC side. Uh, that doesn't make this uh, 100 hertz or uh, 120 hertz uh, ripple. Let's put everything back together and test it. Circuit boards back in place. I removed it and put it here instead. And now we need to replace the fuse here. You can see how blackened that fuse is. Looks like there have been a very hard short circuit. And it's a 10 amp fuse. So yes, I want to put a 10 amp ceramic fuse in there. Now I just need to connect the fan and all the other wires here to the circuit boards and screw it back together. I will see if it works. Now it's back together, I plugged it in and let's turn it on and see if anything happens. It beeps and the light is on. Let's have a look at the display. Oh, nice blue color. Let's put some water in it and see if it does anything. Let's put some water in it. The valve is closed. I think that's enough. 
Let's plug it in. It doesn't seem that it's leaking, so that's good. And yes, how should I turn it on now? Let's say temperature. What's that? Heating. Now it's uh, heating, so that's good. Hopefully. And normal. Holy sh that's that's pretty loud. That's a loud fan. Let's put something in there to clean. Let's try some uh, plumbing equipment. We've got some uh, candle holder, some uh, in brass, and let's see what happens. We've got a little copper pipe here too, so you can see what it does to copper. I've got some uh, steel here on the top. It's quite dirty, so let's see how clean it gets. Let's turn it on. It's quite scary actually. That's a long time. I forgot to put some detergent in there. Now we got the detergent. It's uh, 90 minutes. But maybe I will let it be in there for like 20 minutes instead. So let's turn it on again. So yes, it was almost half an hour, so let's have a look what happened. The water is uh, pretty dirty. There's not so big of a difference. And yes, the sound from this, this is ridiculous. It sounds like it will blow up in any moment. Let's drain the water. Unplug. That looks nasty. Let's have a look at the results here. And yes, the, the water wasn't so warm, it was just like 20 degrees Celsius. I just had it in here for 30 minutes. So we still got some uh, residue left in there, but you can actually see that it's much cleaner. It's a little bit shiny even. It could clean off the oxide layer of this uh, copper tube here. And some here as well. It doesn't damage the brass. Some chemicals actually damage the brass and it will uh, actually dissolve the zinc in it and it will have a coppery color. That's quite good. And here's this one. It should actually be attached to this one. You can see the difference. It actually broke off. I need to solder it back in place sometime. But you can actually see the difference of these two. So yes, it works quite good. Even with some cold water, the disadvantage is that they are pretty loud and it sounds like they will blow up any minute. And now we are ready with this uh, ultrasonic cleaner series. Now we can see what the problem can be with these ultrasonic cleaners. Some uh, leaking here and this one had this uh, melted wire. Hope you found these videos interesting. Thanks for watching.